I'm Dr. Chris Schock. Today I'm going to speak about actinic keratoses and their, and their treatment in clinic. Well, to review, actinic keratoses are precancerous growths, most commonly in fair-skinned people, and they occur in sun-exposed areas. And here are some good examples pictured. Well, what are we going to do to uh, remove these precancers? Well, the most common thing that we do uh, is use cryosurgery or cryotherapy. We use liquid nitrogen to destroy the precancerous growths. We rapidly freeze the precancerous areas, and that causes tissue destruction. We have about a 90 to 95 percent rate of removal with this treatment. It usually doesn't leave a mark, but on occasion it will leave a uh, faint or uh, whiter uh, area of skin in the region. Other treatment options. Well, we have a topical chemotherapy cream called 5-fluorouracil. It destroys the precancerous growths and it's applied uh, topically. It's a cream and you put it on twice a day for roughly two weeks. And in most cases, we try to uh, treat an entire region. So you see this uh, patient is about two weeks into therapy. Uh, the region gets quite red and inflamed, but it's destroying the precancerous cells. And when uh, he heals, uh, his skin will be quite smooth and these rough precancers will be gone again about uh, 90 to 95 percent uh, 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 efficacy rate. Well, the aftercare of 5-FU treatment uh, is to wash gently with mild soaps such as Cetaphil or CeraVe. Usually wash twice a day. Uh, on occasion, we'll prescribe a mild cortisone such as Desinide uh, to help take the burn away uh, after the treatment is complete, or simply white petrolatum, Vaseline petroleum jelly, uh, or Aquaphor can be applied to give relief and help the area to heal. Other therapeutic options. Uh, Imiquimod is an immune response modifier. Uh, this cream comes in very small packages. Uh, it's now generic, which is uh, somewhat cost saving. Uh, it triggers inflammation. So what happens with Imiquimod, you apply the cream uh, usually uh, nightly or sometimes twice a week, depending on which uh, protocol you're following. Uh, you use it until the area is red and inflamed and what happens with this is it stimulates your own white blood cells to come into the region to destroy the precancerous cells. It has a similar effect in that the skin gets quite red and raw. There are topical non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, one called Solarase. This can also be used. Uh, it's a longer treatment, about 60 to 90 days. It can also cause local irritation. We're not sure uh, the mechanism of action of this treatment. A newer uh, therapeutic option is called photodynamic therapy. Well, what happens is in clinic, uh, your dermatologist will apply a potent photosensitizer, abbreviated as ALA, aminolevulonic acid. It's allowed to incubate or sit on your skin for about one to two hours, and then we activate the drug, usually with a blue light, as pictured here. Uh, sometimes we use a laser to further enhance uh, the uh, therapy. This also leaves you red and your skin quite raw. Uh, however, it gets you to the end point in one day. So with one day treatment, uh, the next day you look pretty red and scaly, and then you're looking at about seven to 10 or even 14 days to heal. And again, uh, most of these treatments are non-scarring. So usually we don't have any scarring uh, after the treatment of these actinic keratoses, uh, AKs, actinic keratoses. Again, sun protection is, real, is really quite important with the PDT therapy. You want to avoid sun completely, as well as avoid sitting by windows as the UVA rays can penetrate window glass for a good two days. Soap substitute to wash, a mild cortisone, or something like